All right, so let's talk just kind of overall about this problem number three on the test. It might be axial. It might be torsional. Um, I forget what it was last semester. I don't know what it'll be this semester. Sometimes I like to kind of alternate axial, then torsional, axial, then torsional. As soon as I get into a rhythm, though, I'll, I'll switch it up so that y'all can't anticipate. I want you to be ready for everything. I want you to learn both of these. But they're very similar, aren't they? Aren't they very similar, right? We had some statics, we had some statics, but it wasn't enough. You know, with this one, you'll have some statics, but you don't know P, you don't know uh, D, um, and you don't know the forces inside, but you know, that's, it's not enough, so you need compatibility. Sometimes, like this one, the delta L's might be equal to each other. Sometimes, like this one, the compatibility might add up to zero. Sometimes um, it adds up to a gap. Uh, you know, there could be a lot of different things that it could be. You just need to ask yourself, what kind of sentence could I, could I say that will be my compatibility? It's going to twist this way. It's going to twist some inside this section. It's going to twist some inside this section. But it's going to twist some inside that section. It's going to be back to its original orientation. Or this one, yeah. Well, it's going to compress some, but the compression of the aluminum would be equal to the compression of the brass. And so, from statics and compatibility, you have enough information to solve for what you're asking for. Be careful; these T's are the internal torques uh, inside. If you were to cut it inside each section. Uh, this F right here is the internal F inside that section. Um, be careful if it's positive or negative. Right here, positive and negative is right-hand rule. Uh, thumb pointed out of the cut is positive torque. Thumb pointed into the cut is negative torque. This one, positive and negative. Positive is tension. Negative is compression. Um, and don't forget about this. Go back and look at alpha delta TL. I, I don't think I gave you the temperature change. Or maybe I did. Um, but uh, many times when I don't test you on something earlier in the semester, this was test two, I kind of like to test you that on the final exam because, you know, I don't want you to go the whole semester without me uh, testing you on something. Um, so you might have a temperature change right here if it's axial. Um, you've got a lot of problems to look back at. You've got pro test two. Right, problem one was axial, problem two was torsional, wasn't it? Or is this test three? I'm losing track, test two, right? Um, so you've got the two problems from our test we took this semester. You've got problems from every other test that you can find from my past semesters. Um, you've got these test review problems, these in-class problems, the recitation problems, uh, and homework problems. Uh, to prepare, but don't try to memorize every problem. Try to memorize the process, or not memorize the process, but to understand the process. It's all about understanding. Um, there are certain cases, like two materials or um, beams that are fixed on both ends that are statically indeterminate problems. Um, and statics is not enough. And so with this one, compatibility, either the delta L or the shear, the angle of twist helps us uh, to solve for everything that we need to solve for. All right. And just answer what I'm asking for you. With this one, I was asking for the stress, not the torque. With this one, am I asking for the force inside each member or am I asking for the stress inside each member? Um, you know, don't give me a force if I'm asking for a stress. Don't give me a stress, I'm asking for the force. Okay?